The foodie for dogs. Even a Welsh morning, aren't we? Baby Wen's obsessed with the coffee machine. She nearly made herself a cappuccino. Yay! And then mummy gives the food to the doggies. <laughs> and then look, they're gonna go at it like ravenous pigs. Wait, wait. Blue, back, blue, 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 wait. Well, don't worry, baby. You were born in England, so you're an English baby. You're not Welsh like your mama. <laughs> mama! Your mama's Welsh. Your mother's Welsh, you see. Mom. Your mom's Welsh, but don't worry, you won't sound like her. <laughs> like this. Don't think anyone will sound like this. You sound like this. I do not sound like that. You're the wrong person. Not that there's anything wrong with this. No, actually, I think it's the, the it's most nice, comforting. It's a nice flower, yeah, it's a nice flower. Reminds me of home. Nice people, Welsh people are nice and English people. So if you went into a, a cafe in oh, Wales yeah. and then you went into a cafe in England, they'd be way nicer to you in Wales. Yeah, yeah. Welsh people are just great. Hey guys, does this cardi make me look like a granny? Or is it cute? Because <laughs> in the camera lens right now, I feel like it is really looking granny. And maybe a bra is needed right now. <laughs> so this is not a good start, is it? Anyway, hi guys. I haven't seen you in a very long time. And this, to be honest with you, feels a bit weird. I always find it so weird when I come back to filming on my camera again after Vlogmas. Because Vlogmas is so much more regular and I get into such a flow with just picking up my camera and saying whatever, doing whatever and it just being like second nature and then when I sort of have a bit of time off and come back after Christmas, weird. <laughs> Do you know what I was thinking when I was just having a shower then? Who else does this in the shower where <laughs> you'll suddenly remember something you kind of needed to remember but completely forgot about and your heart drops. I have so many heart dropping, <gasps> oh my god I haven't done that, moments when I'm showering or like deep thoughts. <laughs> but I was just thinking how nice it would be if YouTube was actually live because I feel like it, it would just feel a bit less weird just knowing that people are there right now watching whilst I'm chatting because right now I'm literally just talking to a camera. <laughs> And there's no one watching and I need to like get myself used to that again. Anyway, how are we? How was your Christmas? I hope you are having a good January so far. Pretty sure when this video goes up in a few days, January is essentially over. <laughs> so sorry I didn't really post many videos during this month. I always find January a bit of a weird one. There was one year, years ago, where I did a series on YouTube called Juggling January. And some of you asked me to bring it back still and it was like where I kind of juggled through the worst month of the year, I think. <laughs> it's just that month that's just like, I don't know, I always have the post Christmas countdown blues, there's lots of pressure and well I feel like you naturally put it on yourself because it's a new year and it's like a time that's good to sort of start fresh with things and sometimes you don't really feel like doing that and it's just a bit stressful. <laughs> but it's just yourself that puts it on yourself, if that makes sense. And actually this year I think was the first January that I didn't feel a lot of kind of pressure to set myself loads of new things to do and all of that jazz, the new year. New year, new me. <laughs> Brains. Do you know what, I think it's since I've become a mum that I just 
I don't know, I'm, I, I'm living much more present. It's really natural, I think, as humans to always think about what should be the next thing that they're working towards or wanting to do. And I have definitely been a culprit for that. That, I guess, is kind of that January feel where you're like, right, what am I doing this year? I need to set myself some goals. I need to be a better me, even though you don't. <laughs> and um, yeah, I think for the first time I didn't really do that because I appreciate the present much more and actually i saw something sorry this is a very deep way for me to start <laughs> a new vlog back <laughs> but i saw something on instagram yesterday or was it the day before and i wrote in my journal i've got this little journal that i'm doing also that's the other thing i find every year is i always try and get myself into like crazy planning slash journaling and i get myself like a big planner that's like so in depth because I feel like it, I don't know, I should, and it'll help me into a new year, which it can do, but usually I find that it's just an added stress, <laughs> and I just don't keep at it, so this year I went for like this little five minute journal, I had one like, must have been like eight years ago I got one, when they first, is that when they first came out? I think they were much newer back then, but they're the really, you might have seen one before, but they literally say the five minute journal and they're like this canvas material. They're really small and just simple and it literally takes five minutes to fill out, which is much easier and much less like, I don't know, stress. <laughs> but I wrote in it my affirmation of the day. Did I write, wait, wait, let me get it, hang on. I wrote, life is short, so I choose to enjoy every day for what it is, <laughs> which is like, very obvious what did i see it was someone's real yeah it was basically just a reel that was like life is actually so short so like i don't know i was just in in a moment where i really took that in i think and i was like actually yeah life is so short and like every day is not supposed to be amazing and the other thing i keep seeing actually as well is this thing about how our mundane days now with a child are their childhood. All those days add up to their childhood, so it might be, feel mundane to you, but it's your child's childhood. And that always makes me think too, on days where it's like, I don't know, if I wake up not feeling amazing, just a bit, you know, you know when you wake up on the wrong side of the bed? I think I used to do that a lot. <laughs> and it's all about perspective as to like how you then approach your day because obviously sometimes we just feel a bit shit and that's just how it is. But I want to try more on those days to try and slightly switch my perspective and just take that day for what it is and just think, well, yeah, okay, this day isn't gonna be my liveliest, bounciest day and I don't feel 100, but there are little moments today that I will, that I wanna treasure and like today I get to live and I get to move my body and that's, you know, great and you just don't know what's around the corner, so I don't know. <laughs> There was just something that I'm caught, my brain really caught onto when I read that life is, it said life is short, no, life is so short, and like we literally get one life, so I want to try and like enjoy something in every day, even on the days where I don't feel 100, because we just can't feel 100 every day. Anyway, <laughs> how did I get into such a run? I don't know. Anyway. I just thought we'd have a little catch up. I'm getting ready for the day. Wynne is currently having her morning nap. So I'm a bit frantic because I want to get myself ready for the day completely <laughs> during that time. And I have started a new hair routine. Not every day, but because, I don't know, I just feel like looking a bit nice today. <laughs> I think I'm going to do it today, but. Niall actually got me an air wrap for Christmas. I'm a changed gal, is absolutely. You know, like you see hair on Pinterest and Instagram, and you're like, but how can you possibly make your hair look like that yourself without a hairdresser or a hairstylist or whatever? But I feel like I've learned it's so good. And I've heard really mixed reviews on it that like some people find it just is not the one and they can't work out how to do it ever. But I watched a couple of TikTok tutorials and I really didn't find it very difficult. I find that the thinner barrel 
is the one and also I don't go from wet to styled every time I thought that was also the key because so many people have said to me like if you don't go from wet hair styling with the air wrap it just won't work don't get me wrong it doesn't hold for like ages I don't have hair that holds very well so that's why as well I thought you know I'm, I've got naturally straight flat limp <laughs> not holdable hair so i was like okay this is risky but i find that it actually does work so i might do a little tutorial with you if you want it <laughs> i know that you know you've probably seen air wraps everywhere but if you would like to <laughs> i could do one um maybe on my next video I did write on my instagram if anybody wants to ask anything i would have a little catch up today on this first vlog so i'm gonna have a quick look are you still breastfeeding when yes i am but we are combi feeding so i think i did actually when did we start formula i think we were doing formula bottles in vlogmas honestly december is such a blur because there's just so much going on and i forget what i've told you <laughs> but i'm pretty sure i said that we are combi feeding she has two formula bottles a day and the rest is breast milk we did do the two bottles as pumped milk before but when i hit five months i think it was at the end of november when she hit five months i mean i just felt like it was groundhog day and i was i was so over pumping my boobs it was like i feel like a cow like breastfeeding doesn't feel like that there's just something about pumping although i did love it for a long time and it was really helpful with you know niall being able to feed her bottles and help in the night i don't miss it at all and just waking up pumping for half an hour and then i do it before i went to bed for half an hour sometimes it would take a, a bit longer in the evening because my milk was a bit lower it just felt like Groundhog Day and I was just was so over it. So really nervous to switch to formula just because she'd only had breast milk her whole life so far. And I always wanted to do that. And I, you know, I thought actually we would do it sooner, but it just happened the way it did where we pumped for that amount of time. But I always was completely like, even before she was born, if she just, if she doesn't breastfeed, I'm okay with that. Like I hope to try but as long as the baby's fed and they're happy and loved that's what's important but yeah we switched formula and I was a bit nervous about how she was going to take to it I feel like that's the thing with babies is you get so used to things with them that it's scary to adjust what they're used to in their routine and so I think I did hold off for a little while of switching to formula because I was just worried like is it gonna hurt her tummy are her poops gonna smell more yes they will <laughs> Am I ready for that? No, I will. I'm not. <laughs> and just like, I don't know. Would she not like it? Would she be upset even though she wasn't? The only thing I am finding now is I feel like I am sort of hanging by a thread with breastfeeding still. And I feel like she is starting to prefer the bottles. I also always just struggle with the fact that when you breastfeed, you don't know how much they are drinking. And I worry that she's not having enough because obviously when she has a bottle, I can see exactly what she's drinking. I'm still going. I hope to still keep combi feeding for a little while longer. I'm just sort of going with the flow and seeing how it goes. And she's very happy with what she's doing I think the only thing other thing I find and I would love to know if any mums also find this is she's just so fussy on when she's breastfeeding she's kind of always distracted always looking around she's on and off constantly like my lip is full on out <laughs> if I'm feeding out and about it's just got so much worse where she's like drinks for a bit looks around smiles and I know they go through that phase but she's been in this phase for a long time now <laughs> And I just feel like, I don't know, is she enjoying breastfeeding still? I mean, I think she is, and I think she definitely does in the morning feed. But, yeah. During your journey, did you ever just want to get a normal job? Self-employment is stressful. <laughs> um, yes, there are times where I think there are aspects to a normal... I mean, I do feel like social media is becoming much more of a normal i mean it depends how you class normal isn't it but it's is a newer job role me and now did did talk a, quite a lot on this when we did that tipsy q and a during vlogmas but yeah there are moments where i wish i went to work more rather than just disciplining myself from home and i don't know just from home 
working most of the time I do get a bit it's hard because it's your home as well so sometimes it's really difficult to switch off because it's your workspace too I think Niall finds that quite hard with the kitchen area which is the main sort of sociable part of our house as well but that is also technically his studio so yeah there are aspects to it where I kind of sometimes think oh I would love to just be like a full-time PT to be honest with you and just like be with people more it's quite a lonely job like you don't really have colleagues like obviously there's people in the industry as well that you can see at events but I don't tend to go to loads of them and there are actually just less of them since covid i feel i think it's picking up a little bit more now but also it's it can be it can feel like you're you're going to your first day of school at some influ influencer events i think is the best way i can describe it like i get quite nervous to go by myself it does feel like first day of school vibes. I mean, there's so many lovely people in the industry. I think I definitely struggle a lot with imposter syndrome and just feeling like, why why would I be here? Why would they chat to me? I'm just like, you know, this person who works from home and films my life. And <laughs> obviously I've got Blue and Beyond, which I read as well, but I don't have a lot of confidence in my place within the industry, I guess is what I'd say. like within the other creator creators that are within it if if that makes sense on the other hand there are a lot of things about the job which are absolutely amazing and very handy for instance you know with with win and being able to work around win because i'm my own boss i'm like allowed to do that which i i'm very grateful for and also just the fact that you know niall does that too in a different way from home means we can juggle parenthood and working well, there are pros and cons to that i would say though that it's lovely that we both can be around all the time with win but it's very difficult to focus now she's getting older and i constantly feel guilty if i haven't it's hard to like give 100 to one thing i was talking about this on tiktok the other day actually and how like you kind of i don't know i i feel guilty on the days where i'm working more and i can't give win my 100 percent attention but then vice versa if like i'm with win all day i feel like i'm not being productive in a work sense although like being a mum is so productive as well <laughs> it's just like working out that new normal of juggling both and accepting that work is different now and I have to work smarter and more efficiently and I have like gaps where I can be focused but if I'm not feeling focused or creative in those moments it's a bit of a mental game of being like getting myself into that creative space as much as I can because that's the time that I have to do it now I don't have the freedom and the flexibility to just you know work whenever I want to so yeah anyway <laughs> and obviously there's so many pros like I love the fact that I have this amazing community of people on here and on Instagram but I definitely want to do more in-person things this year because I think I am struggling with... I think last year I was a bit of a hermit and I think that was subconsciously because I was pregnant and then obviously had a newborn for half the year. I didn't like go to things very much or I wasn't around, like apart from my friends, loads of people. And I think I'm missing that aspect in my job. This year I've already planned out some big sort of events I'd like to do and host so that I can actually meet you guys and just be around people and like bring it all to life because I think for me that feels quite important so that it's not just me and my camera, if that makes sense. Like I actually wanna be around you lot <laughs> as much as I can. So yeah, that is my plan. If I have a struggle with motherhood, I'm a first time mum and have some awful days. Yes, definitely, I completely feel you. And obviously it's hard to show those moments when I'm in them because I wouldn't naturally pick up a camera although I want to because I think it's very important to not just showcase the moments that feel easier and happier 
but I'm just not one of those people that would naturally film myself crying or I don't know it's just not <laughs> the way that my brain thinks in those moments we have a little visitor <laughs> you didn't fancy doing a long one this morning did you yesterday and the day before she did not today <laughs> Niall's actually out right now as well that's why I was also kind of rushing hoping to finish getting ready before she woke up but that doesn't always work out <laughs> what I was saying was at the end of the year just before New Year's Eve hit I had a quite a low I don't know, just like a, a very low few days. And a big reason for that, I think, was the fact that <clears throat> my first period came in after a year and a, almost a year and a half. So my emotions were absolutely wild and it was not fun. <laughs> but I think I was just like in a bit of a, you know, reflective time as well. I, that's another reason I find like the new year not my favorite because if you're feeling down and then you're reflecting I think you can just get in a bit of a hole where you reflect just on like the negatives if that makes sense so yeah I definitely was feeling quite down I feel like I was sort of reflecting on myself on myself as a mum and I was nervous about going into the new year and working out the juggle with <clears throat> work and win and wanting to you know excel in both I guess <laughs> and just feeling like how is that gonna happen like I just, how's this year gonna go it's obviously like all going into the unknown being a first-time mum so yeah I just had quite a few down days that's the thing with babies they're so unpredictable and some days just you feel like you're smashing it as a parent and everything feels like it's going well and then some days you just feel like you've got nothing together, your house is a tip, you haven't done the washing, she's been upset, you haven't given her enough playtime, <laughs> and you haven't got anything done on your to-do list and you just feel over the shop and that's just the way it is. But I'm, I'm just like learning these things that it's normal to feel these things and different days are gonna feel different and the unpredictability, is that the right word? is something that I'm working on accepting because I think as a naturally anxious person over the years, luckily I don't feel as much anymore, but that can kind of be quite a big trigger when you don't know what's coming and you can't plan and you don't feel in control of things as a parent. That's just something that you have to accept eventually. <laughs> you can't wear mummy's makeup one day one day when you're a bit older we'll do makeup time but at the moment you definitely don't need any because you are beautiful <laughs> should we do our hair i think we should do our hair i mean you can't do much with yours <laughs> she's so bald still it's hilarious joy you know it blows my mind i just didn't think she was gonna turn out looking the way she does in terms of hair <laughs> because niall's obviously yeah. so hairy with his eyebrows and his hair and he's very dark I just thought she was gonna be like a dark, hairy, I mean, she's got eyebrows. <laughs> she has got eyebrows, but it's more like my complexion color. But um, anyway, this is what we do, isn't it, baby? She loves looking at herself in the mirror at the moment. Who's this? Is that Winnie? Does mommy need to clean the mirror? I think she does. <laughs> Wow, look at you sitting up like a big girl. That's you. Oh, you a little girl. Okay, we're frantic, but we're ready. Baby wins a little bear. This is the hair as well. I did it very fast today, but um, I feel like it looks nice. And then this is the fit. Is it gonna let me show you? So we've got another little granny cardi on. <laughs> I'm really liking them at the moment because they're nice and warm. And maybe a bra is needed in them though. <laughs> and then I've got this. Loving a trench actually as well at the moment. But this is just 
one I found on sale on Nasty Gal. It was literally like 18 pounds, but I love it. I love the color. Anyway, we're gonna head out. We're actually going to do something a bit strange. Well, I mean, it's not strange, but considering what me and Niall were talking about in the video where we were answering questions during Vlogmas, we're actually going to view a house, <laughs> which kind of has just happened by chance that we, I'll explain a bit more because I haven't got much time right now to chat to you properly about it. But um, yeah, a house came up, which looked perfect. However, oh God, that bronzer is not, that is not blended, is it, when? <laughs> Don't learn your makeup tricks from me when you're older, bub. It could be lovely, but we'll see. We'll see. I'll take. Will I take you? I don't know. Is that weird? Do you take people to house viewings on vlogs? I don't know. I might show you something, but I don't know what it's going to be like. But I'm really excited because we've actually been waiting to view it because it wasn't ready to be viewed until today. So yeah, I will see you there. serious Parrington error. <laughs> Wynne fell asleep in the car and then obviously I had to transport her into her into the house <laughs> and she's wide awake now rolling about in her cot playing with her dummy. <laughs> Why does that happen with She fell asleep for literally two minutes and then because she woke up the sleepiness just leaves. And she is due a long nap now, or she's gonna get so overtired. But she's just having a party in her cot at the moment. But um, anyway, we have just got back from the house viewing. I loved it. <laughs> Niall loved it. Honestly, it was just gorgeous. We weren't looking to move house at all. We absolutely love it here. But occasionally I have a look on right move. I'm one of those people. Are you one of them? I, I always did it when I lived in London and we were renting. I just always like, just found it really interesting. I like looking at houses. I like looking at houses on YouTube. <laughs> I just love a good home. And I was on right move the other day, just like seeing what was going on in our area. <laughs> it's not like a right old woman. And this house was there and I was like, oh my gosh, that house is so interesting looking like it's from the outside i don't think i filmed any clips of the outside but the outside look of the house is really like unique it's quite like cool sort of artistic looking and today when we went to view it we were actually talking with the guy who designed the house he was explaining how he just wanted to create like a really unique different looking home because it, it just doesn't look from the outside like a house I've ever seen before. So that obviously like attracted me when I saw it on right move, but then everything about it had all the like things that this house doesn't have, which if we were to ever move would be the things that I'd be looking for, if that makes sense. <laughs> and we really wanted to find somewhere where we could have a separate room downstairs to turn into a playroom when Wynne is a bit older, because at the moment, it's just, this is the main room and the downstairs part of our house other than the bedroom and that bit there, which is like, you just walk through to get to here from the front door. So although that could be a playroom slash office, because it's actually our office at the moment as well, but it just, I don't know, I don't love the fact that it's not like separated off in its own space so that I could feel like she, I don't know, just couldn't get to the front door. I don't know, it just feels weird that it's also the front door she'd have access to the front door. This is just like obviously in an ideal setting, we definitely live here absolutely fine with a playroom if we needed to. But yeah, anyway, this house just seemed like it had the things that if we ever were to look for a different house, it had. It has the higher ceilings, which is so hard to find around here. Not like super high, not like old Victorian house high, but higher. Than these ceilings it's just very bright massive windows which is the other thing this house sort of this part of our house is really old it's like a i don't know how old it is now it's built like hundreds of years ago is that right 
it's at least 100 years old. <laughs> but it was a two up, two down house originally and then the previous owners built this extension on the back which is like the kitchen living area and our bedroom upstairs. So the that part of the house, the, the ceiling's quite low so it feels a bit darker and just a bit smaller. But just having that extra height on your ceiling I feel like makes the house feel a lot more like open and airy. And this house had that so we will see. <laughs> I don't want to love it because I just I'm scared that like I, I just don't want to fall in love with it and then be upset if it doesn't work out but then at the same time I do absolutely love our house and I actually would be really sad to leave this house so we will see how it goes <laughs> but if it doesn't work out then it's just not meant to be is it but we will see anyway <laughs> I am just probably going to go up and try and get Wynne to sleep again because she's still robbing about playing <laughs> and she's very much due asleep and then Niall has just gone to the shop because we're going to do some meal prepping together which I did last week and I loved it so we're going to do a bit together and probably show you. Boo! <gasps> Boo! <gasps> Oh, she's so cute. Right, guys, we have just finished making some meal preps from Niall's cookbook. Here he is. You haven't been in the vlog yet? Published author. <laughs> Daddy's a published author. Give me that one. Um, yeah. So we've made berry overnight oats, uh, berry cheesecake overnight oats. These are really, really good. Wynne also absolutely loves this when I have it. She, I let her have a little taste on the spoon. What Megan did, which blew my mind once, <laughs> is she mixed the berries in with the oats, which I'd never done. I can't believe you had done like, that. It looks really cool, like really Purple. purpley. And, yeah. Purpley pink. So, top little tip from Megan. Top tip, mixing your berries. Then we've got some satay chicken rice bowl. This is also really yummy. And then we've got some tuna avocado toast. Is yeah, that buddy. Right? That's a copy of Joe and the Juice, by the way. Oh, yeah. Except, like, they do their bread fancy, where it's, like, a particular type it's of like bread and they toast it. it. It's like so flat it's, like, ready. really flat and crispy. Yeah, which you I can do at home, yeah. but yeah. I just did that. It's easier. But, yeah. Lovely, uh, Joe. It's nearly been a month now since my book came out. I know, and we haven't seen you since it dropped. We, um... Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was, it was really cool, actually, because... Well, my publisher said... Because I, I said, you know, what do, what should I expect expect for? Uh, <laughs> Got the spotlight there's me, on there's, there's me, <laughs> through the thing. There's me getting into it. You're a naughty, you're a naughty baby. <laughs> Just a pair of eyes, aren't you? Big round head. <laughs> uh, no, publication was really cool. Obviously seeing people get the book and making it and the Amazon reviews. I was reading that yesterday. Uh, but yeah, I wasn't expecting much for when the book actually published. Yeah, because you had a long pre-order build-up, didn't you? Yeah, but also like Dan from my publisher, he said like uh, maybe it might be a bit flat, like don't expect much because people are just getting the book basically. But actually we sold like more books then than I thought we would, which was a bit of a buzz. You sold and the Amazon way price more drop. this side as well now, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. And the Amazon price drop obviously oh. doing bits because people love a... Love, love to save a, a bit of money, thing. don't they? So, love a bark. Um, a bark. Price drop album we got up to number, number two on all books on Amazon, which is... That's so cool. That's, yeah, that's the highest we've ever got. So, yeah, up there with, with Big Joe. Board of Lunch was number Big one, Jamie. of course. Bloody Board of Lunch. <laughs> he's, always, he's always pissing on my parade, that guy. <laughs> no, but he sells a ridiculous amount of books but yeah no it's cool it's been really really cool and uh thank you to anyone who ordered and yeah it's so nice to see you guys making i've never had so many making the food i don't know why i didn't finish that <laughs> sentence but we've i've never had so many dms as well from people being like sending in pictures and yeah so it's been lovely it's been cool she just went like this <laughs> and like a little breathing like to eat, eat apples and bananas. <laughs>
this soundtrack plus the Mamma Mia Here We Go Again soundtrack will forever be the best soundtracks. If you ever need a playlist for the gym to get you motivated, pop one of these on, guarantee you'll have a better gym session. So I'm actually just about to head to the gym and I'm gonna blast The Greatest Showman there, on the way there, but also while I'm there. <laughs> also, I just had my nails done. Let me quickly show you, little focus. Gone very Valentine'sy very early, but I love a bit of red and pink. Anyway, we are just about to head to the gym. And I'm actually gonna do a run today, which is why I definitely need something in my ears, which is going to rear me on because I am not a runner. But one of my goals this year for fitness was to do some again. Because actually, do you know what? I completely stopped running because when I got really heavily pregnant, it was just not a thing. Like it was, it was not. <laughs> If I tried to go for a run, I would honestly wee myself. I think I, I did manage the odd run up until I was like, I don't know, 25 weeks pregnant. So I had quite the bump, maybe even, no, 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 I can't have been much later than that because my pelvic floor would have just fallen out. <laughs> That's a thing, but like, it felt like everything was gonna fall out. But I did love it, but mainly outside. That's the only thing I'm not, not a huge fan of a treadmill run unless it sprints but we're gonna have a go today because it is too dark and i'm definitely way too scared to go for a run in the dark if any of you do that is it safe <laughs> firstly is it safe if you just wear a head torch i guess maybe you'll be all right but i just feel like with my headphones in it just freaks me out a bit running in the dark and i just feel like it's a nice thing to do and it's bright outside isn't it but yeah, we, we missed the boat on that one because I feel like the day has just run away. But I'm going to go to the gym and do some running because that is one of my fitness goals this year. I've set myself a couple, which I thought I'd just quickly tell you. I was going to actually do a glutes day today, but my muscles are still so sore. Since coming back training, I think I had like two to three weeks off over Christmas. Since coming back, I honestly can't deal with how sore my muscles get. It's just... It's the quads and the in between the legs, the penguin walking is so real. <laughs> so I'm gonna wait another day before I do my glute session, which I might actually film tomorrow and pop it in anyway, because I don't think showing you my run on the treadmill will be that interesting. I think I'll probably do just like 20 to 30 minutes and see how far I get. I'd like to try and get into doing like 5Ks here and there. That's sort of my goal is to maybe do like one a week outside though. So this is just me starting it. <laughs> so we're gonna do that, but some of my other goals are pull-ups. I want to be able to do a body weight pull-up again. I have not been able to do one of them for maybe like two to three years. I think because I'm quite like heavy on the bottom, it's quite hard for me to pull myself up. And also I just don't think that I'm quite strong enough to do it yet. You need a lot of core strength and that's the other thing that I massively have lacked since being pregnant. So I want to try and get into pull-ups to eventually be able to do a bodyweight one. So what I'm gonna do is start on the machine, then move on to resistance bands, some negative pull-ups as well, and hopefully I'll build up the strength over time to be able to do a body bodyweight one. But I will keep you updated on that one. Squats, I want to be able to do a heavier squat again. Again, I can feel that my core is just a little bit weak. So it's all a process, you know, I'm not kind of rushing into these, but they're just like my goals for the whole year. <laughs> and they're quite specific, which I feel like is quite nice because I know what I need, want to do to be able to work up to it. And I'm okay with the fact that it's gonna be a process, if you know what I mean. I'm not expecting to be able to like, do a really heavy squat tomorrow. It's it's a gradual thing that I'm doing. But yeah, squat weight I want to get up hopefully a bit. And my program I'm on at the moment on Beyond, which is Peachy 2.0, will help that because of the way I've written the written the program. There's lots of techniques within it which will help encourage strength building. So I did a pyramid set on Monday on my squats, which is where you you start at, a, at higher reps lighter weight and you gradually decrease the reps and increase your load and then you end up on like your two rep max 
and then you go backwards. So it's like 12 reps, eight reps, six reps, four reps, two reps, and then you, you re reverse it. I don't know if that makes very much sense, but I'll show you at some point. <laughs> Things like that will help develop that strength and also working on my core in general will help that because then I'll be able to sort of lift more of my core's a bit stronger again. the five b's bath bottle book book bed baby baby <laughs> why is everything to do with a baby start with a b two minutes to go you're a traitor <laughs> oh what was that that was the american guy wasn't it yeah the american one's weird yeah we, did we bail on that yeah me and niall got have got so obsessed with traitors in like a week we I managed like to we'll watch, watch season the... one, the Australian season. Yeah. We caught up with season two of the UK and we tried the US. The US wasn't. It was just a bit cringe. Like the, the guy, um, not Carol Vorder. Why do I always want to call Claudia Winkle? Uh, Carol Vorder. Oh, I love a bit of Claude. Yeah, She's I great. really don't I like her. You do like her. I get a bit mesmerised by her. <laughs> He said she's so captivating, that's what he said. I just, like, not in like a weird way, like, I'm not being a perv either, but it's just like... No, I know what you mean. She, she... Something about the fringe in the eyes, and she just... Yeah, and what her... does she look like under that fringe? Nobody knows, still, to yeah. this day. I did see a picture, I, I, I think I googled it the other day. I'll get it up, I want to see... Oh, I've got a bit of cabbage in the She is, but the, the American guy was so cringe, you know. No, the, it was the Australian I thought you didn't like. No, the American guy, because they did it in the Scottish castle still, didn't uh, they? Yeah. Remember what he was wearing? It was like fucking Hunger Games. <laughs> he did look like the guy yeah, of Hunger Games. Welcome. And he's like to the castle. Scottish accent. I don't know if he's American trying. Traitor. How, how do you say it? Mm. Tra now, who is the traitor? Traitor! Like a really bad Scottish accent. Uh, anyway, if you don't know what Traitors is, this is probably a really uninteresting conversation. But if you haven't watched it, oh, the like, reflection on these glasses. He's like, and I'll amazing. see you guys, and I'll see you all in the morning. Or will I? <laughs> Yeah, but it's supposed to be a bit like that. Like, we just American prefer Claudia, though, don't we? I think American TV's just like that, isn't it? Oh, don't know. I used to love American TV growing up. You're going to offend all the US people watching this. But anyway, yeah, if you haven't watched Traitors, definitely give it a go it's so good we're, we're just addicted i'm so sad that there's only three episodes left by the time this vlog's gone up it would have finished oh it's coming it's coming it's great. we've got um many a whispers Case. Look at all of my whispers. Me and Niall have become obsessed with whispers. Niall's yeah, the whisper, whisper gold, gold man. Oh. Look, I bought myself a whisper gold and then you got me a yeah, normal. What are you about the whisper gold then? I like them, they're very nice. Basically, a, I bought two on the way home for me and Niall, and then Niall also did. That's like, that's your. We, we did our love language you the other day. I always buy you one. You know you don't need to. I love a, I love an act of service, and you you always just bring me home a whisper at the end of every day. That is an act of service, I think, isn't it? I'm a good little servant. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, 
it's starting, so I'm gonna go first. <laughs> I am gonna finish this vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. It feels good to be back. And thank you so much if you've come back. But I'm gonna love you leaving because it started and I don't wanna miss it. <laughs> Half price on Amazon, don't miss out. Oh, here he goes. We had enough of that during vlogmas, mate. We know, you know. <laughs>